Welcome back to another episode of EVTV. I'm Emmett. And I'm Abby. Living in Eagle County can be difficult, especially if you're an underpaid adult. How much do teachers make? How do they make a living? We find out next. When you think about your favorite past teachers, how many of them are still teaching in Eagle County? Recently, there has been a major shortage of teachers caused by low wages affecting students and adults. I get a lot of sympathy from people. They feel really bad that we're kind of across the board underpaid for the amount of work that we end up doing just compared to other professionals who have similar backgrounds. According to the Eagle County Schools Certified Salary Schedule, a teacher who's been teaching for as long as 10 to 12 years with a bachelor's degree receives a salary of $53,534 a year. And I think that it's important to understand that salaries have to meet the cost of living. And this isn't just seen in teacher's salaries here, it's seen in a lot of professions in this valley. Uh, when I go places, they'll give me like 10% off because I'm a teacher. And sometimes I think it's like, oh, I'm sorry, you don't make a lot of money. Like anyone else, teachers need to spend their money on school supplies, shared housing, childcare, groceries, healthcare, and more. Especially in Colorado, teachers are paid barely enough to fit only their basic needs for themselves and their families. This does not include fun activities, treatment for mental health struggles, or social outings. Um, I have developed depression, anxiety. Um, I am not the same teacher that I was five years ago because I don't know if I'm going to get kicked out of my house. I think where it really gets difficult is when you have kids, like especially young kids. Like I have a daughter who's one years old and to ask to get a roommate or ask to share in that situation is just, um, it's difficult because it's, even if you vet someone, you just never know and there's a baby crying and it puts them in an awkward position. And so I think the more of a family you have, the harder it is to do any of those things. In an article by edweek.org, nationally, more than 8% of teachers leave their profession each year. Teachers in Colorado frequently move around to find jobs that provide for them and their families. The school does provide uh, housing for teachers, though there are a lot of restrictions to get into it. They have worked with Habitat for Humanity, but again, that's a lottery system. So there are some good things this district is trying to do. It's just very hard to be selected for such things. If we can't find a house that we can purchase by a certain date, the next school year will be my last in Eagle County. My husband's been here for 20 plus years and he chose to move here because of what Eagle County has to offer. I came here a different route, but I chose to stay because of what Eagle County has to offer. Um, we are talking about just trying to find a place that we can buy a house. We don't know what that looks like or where that is yet. The Colorado Education Association a union for teachers in Colorado, has recently been trying to raise starting base wage from $46,160 to $50,000 in Eagle County. However, $50,000 is still much lower than other districts, such as Cherry Creek Schools, which just increased their base pay to a $57,000 salary. I think first and foremost, people need to demand that our state does something in terms of funding for education. Um, I guess talk to your politicians. Um, we have a union that fights for us as best they can. Uh, when those bills come up to increase teachers pay or if it ever comes up at a state legislature, talking with those people and trying to get that help done would be greatly appreciated. From Eagle Valley Student Media, this has been Abby, Emmett, and Emmanuel. Mr. Doan has been principal here at EVHS for the past 12 years. And at the end of this school year, he's leaving us. Let's go learn why. Mr. Doan, our esteemed principal, is leaving us after our 2023 semester. We wanted to discover why. You know, I've been here 12 years, and sometimes you reach a point and there's a phrase, you got to go to grow. And I think I've done as much as I wanted to here. Like literally, I got to, like I said, I got to do everything I dreamed of. From the beginning, he seemed like a really good fit. He had a lot of energy. It just seemed like he really wanted to come in and make a difference. Uh, he showed this video of his, his little kids at the time. Gavin was really little. Uh, and it just seemed like he brought his family and his passion for teaching with him. He's been here 12 years, and uh, I, I think he's ready for a change. I think at, after a certain amount of time, everyone needs to get out and do something different. I am a part of AVID, which was his big kind of um, 
a project that he took on since he's been here, or one of his projects. Uh, so I've been to uh, summer institutes with him and worked with him on professional development outside of school. Mr. Doan is a big supporter of school spirit, whether it be as something as big as Devil Duels, Wish Week, or even as simple as a high five in the hallway. So many of the things he's done um, from assemblies, uh, bringing Avid here, uh, being in one of the school musicals one time, uh, doing a dunk contest. Uh, I think uh, he has like a triangle diagram if you ever look that up and I think a lot of the teachers rely on that when they think about their, their instruction and how it relates to academics and the athletics and the activities that we have here. And school spirit is huge to me. Like, I obviously love standing in front of the group of, of Eagle Valley High School students and leading a cheer. Like, it, it doesn't bother me and I get excited by it. He brings a lot of joy into his work and I know he always tries his hardest. So the, the sheer fun that he has, especially at pep assemblies, is going to be missed. So I've accepted a position. It's the principal of Monarch High School. It's in Louisville. Um, it's part of Boulder Valley School District. It is bigger than Eagle Valley. It's about 1,400 students. I've actually met uh, some of the staff and students at the new school that I'm going to. And there's some things that, you know, if, if they stand out to me, I know I'm going to want to affect change on. I think he dreams big. I, th I think that's something he's always set out to do, both, both on a personal and on a school-wide level, is he wants everyone to achieve the best, to be the best that they can be. And I truly believe that's what he wants to do in everything. From Eagle Valley Student Media, this has been Alan and Blake. And from all of us at EVHS, we will miss you, Mr. Dunn.